Let's start with the common situation. Imagine you've just been discharged from the hospital. You've been given a pile of paperwork detailing your hospital course. You go home, open it up, find out it's almost 70 pages long, has notes from physicians, nurses, along with physical and occupational recommendations, instructions from your specialists, and new diagnosis and medications, along with follow-up appointments and much more. So next, you have to follow up with your primary care physician. So what happens? You take in that stack of papers you got. It's about 70 pages long. You go in. He asks you questions about your hospital course. You're shuffling through them. You have no idea what's going on. Thankfully, he has some sort of idea of what's going on. But guess what? You still don't have a full grasp of everything, and you're still lost. Next thing you know, he recommends you to brand new specialists who have brand new medications, brand new treatment plans. And guess what? You're going through the same process, shuffling through all this paperwork, still lost in the clutter. The problem with this is that if you don't know what's going on, if your family doesn't know what's going on, if there's poor communication between you and your provider, then you're probably not going to comply with your treatment plans. And this usually causes an increased rate of hospital readmissions, emergency room visits, and trust me, it can put a lot of strain on the healthcare system. Unfortunately, most electronic medical record systems prioritize billing, administrative, and medical legal purposes over creating a simple and concise medical document for patients to understand. So it makes sense that you might not know everything. I mean, where do we even begin? How do you know what's going on? How do you know what's important, what's not important? How can you retrieve information quickly when you need it? And how can you organize this information that helps both you and your provider understand what's going on? So I just want to sidetrack for one second. I just want to explain that not every provider will have all our health information. You're probably thinking, what is this guy talking about? So the most common assumption patients have is that your medical records from one hospital can be accessed by another hospital at any time. Fortunately, that's not always true. Not all EMR systems are integrated together. Even if two competing hospitals use the exact same EMR, electronic medical record, doesn't mean that they share all the exact same information with each other. And considering that there's over 100 EMR systems being used out there, sometimes it may be impossible to get you the records that you need on time, especially if your primary care specialist is using a different type of EMR system that has different information compared to the hospital you're at. Trust me, you don't want to be in this scenario because if you're out there and it's an emergency and you can't communicate what's going on, your family doesn't know what's going on, then how are first responders going to know what type of allergies, medications, diagnosis you currently have? So it's in this situation where you really need to be organized and prepare ahead of time with your health records. That's where a personal medical portfolio comes into play. It's like having a snapshot of your health at your fingertips, ready to share with any healthcare provider whenever you need it. There's no more shuffling through papers. You have all the relevant and up-to-date information that you need when you need it. Trust me, knowing that all your medical information is organized will give you a peace of mind and empower you to take control of your health. So you'll always be ready no matter where you are. Remember, we're here to keep things simple. Medical records weren't meant to be 70 pages long. You can easily consolidate your medical history into one to two pages. So now that you know what's going on, you can share this information easily with your doctor, with your family, with close relatives, and you can stay ahead of your treatment plans. If you guys are interested in learning more about how to organize a medical record, feel free to let me know in the comment section. I'd be happy to make another video detailing every step of the personalized health record. Before I let you guys go, I just want to let you know that we are creating a free personalized medical portfolio app called Calm Care Medical Portfolios launching this September. So keep an eye out for us on the Apple and the Google Play Store. If you found this video helpful, please share it with your friends and family. Stay tuned for more tips and insights on managing your health. And until next time, take care.